All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Franchise Chess. I'm about to play a somebody straight up. About to have a little bit of fun. See what we can get out of it. See, uh, you got 10 minute time controls. As you can see, my name down here is Irish Springs. We hit play. Let's see what we get. King Pawn opening. Well, we can go a whole lot of different ways if we want to. Uh, let's go with let's go with the Carol Con. Mm. Of course, when they take up the middle, this is one of those games where you're going to see the Carol Con flourish. Let's see if they play the advanced variation or if they're going to play the exchange variation or what. I normally like to play uh, the Knight C3, but a lot of people will take. And then that's the exchange variation, which is a little bit boring, but you know you can't really fault them for it. Uh, it's always good to develop your king side as fast as possible in the Karakhan, because if you come under attack, at least this way, um, you'll be able to protect yourself. Knights normally before bishops for all you new people, and there are, of course, every rule that comes out. There's something that is that basically says you break the rule. Um, this is kind of like, uh, started out looking like uh, London almost, and now you got some Rui Lopez ideas here about trying to pin the king. That's a little strange. Put the queen right here, attacking the center, <coughs> attacking this piece, provoking the knight to come forward. And that's how you play this. Uh, this is one of the more, uh, provocative ways to play this opening, you know, more mainline theory. You can get the bishop out and try to create a pin here. Of course, we'll protect the uh, bishop there. A smart move. My opponent is rated 1808, by the way. Let's see. Ooh, pushing down to my face. That ain't cool. Hmm. I could just take with it. Yeah. Yeah. If he captures, we can capture with the knight if we want to. And of course, he's going to capture. And with that being said, it's time to get busy with it. We all oh, we give me for the funnel, we could have taken with the king, but eh, best to keep your structure. You want to be able to castle. Definitely a little bit weaker on the darker squares, but this is where our opponent's going to make us think a little bit. Got a weak pawn right here, to munch on, possibly, but that's a that's a poison pawn just to let you know. And we get castling here. We haven't developed our bishop yet. We haven't castled yet. Let's just go ahead and get that bishop developed. Eleven moves in, we're almost all the way developed. That's a good thing. Kind of sitting back, letting the opponent dictate what's happening, at least at the moment, because we got good development. You know, knights on the side normally die but this is a good thing we went up a pawn so oh well that's indicating some bad news normally the queen and bishop don't come together unless they're trying to put out some bad juju let's go ahead and uh yeah let's bring that back bring back the knight a little bit more on the e5 square a little bit more control the d4 square just to keep our opponent honest A little bit behind on the clock, but it's okay. I'm trying to explain this as we go. I mean, no. Come on. Make your decision. The white's got a lot of moves he can play. He owns the file here. Of course, he's going to try to play to the center. That's, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and castle. It's not really anything pressing going on our knights are doing a good job working together in tandem controlling e5 square they got four pieces on it but this is how that goes a little bit that's not it's a little bit on the dubious side I would think 
see if we can't punish that move. Pin in the night. I don't know what that was actually. Don't really understand that other than maybe they felt like they were out of moves. They just kind of crammed it in the center here. But to weaken your pawn chain, your pawn structure, you gotta have a good reason for that. You're controlling the dark squares, now you're trying to control the light ones as well. Can't have everything. I think my opponent is unsure of what to do next. Bishop, they have control of the dark squares. This knight's going to be more of a problem. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and take. Queen recaptures, of course. But, let's see if we can't uh, create some threats ourselves. Let's have a little fun here. You got to maintain, the reason why I use this right because you want to maintain, in case you need to back your queen away. Yeah, I know we have the knight on it, but knight's got other responsibilities. Uh, but, you know, hey, just so you think you got away, Queenie, doesn't mean you got away. That's right, knight to b4. Just uh, thrusting up there, trying to create some various threats with the knight hitting both the c2 and d3 square, as well as the rook hitting here on the c2 square, dominating the file. That's a little different. I mean, it doesn't help none. Now it's a fork. It's a potential. I mean, what were you thinking? Oh. So that's how you want to play this game. You're willing to fork me. Ah, well. Let's capture. Recapture. Let's see. Definitely want to get this plan right. Not moving as fast this time, guys, because we're entering. The end game phase is coming. Let's go ahead and get this pawn. Now this is we're dominating the side, but they have the dark square bishop. And I'm not seeing a whole lot my opponent can do here. Just trying to control this side. I don't understand that move either. It's another nothing burger. What are we doing here? Is it giving up? time ago. Let's see, do I want to trade? Yeah, I mean, I'm ahead. I, I was ahead on the exchange earlier. And, of course, to be smart if they took with the bishop, but maybe you take... Yeah, no, queen! I don't... Just a little bit... I mean, they just check. I know you get an escape square, but doesn't really help anything. I'm not sure why you let me in. But I know I'm trying to march this down. So we'll see if you can catch up. The queen's here to escort the pawn to victory. That's the idea here. It's pretty cut and dry. These two are not in any dangerous uh, formation to even threaten checkmate. So I'm not worried about that. Expecting more fight out of an 1808. Come on, Aram Naliton. 
but this guy could be a fantastic blitz player. I mean, not blitz, but classical player. I'm not sure. I just know that um, it's not his best game, I don't think. Yeah, now trying to reset. See, trying to put the bishop here and create the mating net. But it's not going to be in time. There he comes. And what do we do? We got this beautiful queen. We can offer for trade. Ta da! And now we have the escort for the uh, pawn to go to uh, b1 and queen. And the bishop is on the opposite color, so there's nothing the bishop can do. It's just going to be beautiful. And the trade has taken place. <coughs> now, the way to take is usually toward the center. And that, that ends it. So, my opponent resigned. Plus 17. Not bad. Okay. So, let's take a good look real quick. And let's... Can we analyze this? Analyze this game. See how we did. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's black. The Carol Con. It's, it's a. I like this opening because it's really good about being able to equalize and, you know, it gives you a pretty straightforward game. I don't always play it because it's not as much fun for me. Um, but when I play stronger players, it's one of my better openings. This, this started out good, but then the extra push, I didn't understand that. Not one bit. That made no sense. That was just surrendering a piece. And, and as you can see, valuation bar says that I, mean, I was already up a point here. And normally it's in White's favor. And then this capture. Let's see, where did it go real bad? I know where it did. It's whenever this. I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that the B3 push was where it started going really south for him. Most probably did pretty good. Yeah, see, if I wish Bar says it, almost give me a two point advantage by the time it comes. Almost a two pawn advantage. And then the pin. Maybe there's a more accurate move here. But it brought my advantage down a little bit. Yeah. I thought that rook move was kind of clever, but computer just says it's. Eh, no big deal. Computer's a scumbag. But that was a blunder. Moving the queen back like that. What would have been the right move? Here, that gives me a five point advantage. What would have been the right move here? Computer says. Ah, uh, D2. Queen D2. Because by going here, it allows my knight to be able to hit two spots exactly. Okay, makes sense. And the exchange. That was the right move there. I'm up almost eight points at this point. I kept my foot on the gas though. So. And then I just try to consolidate, equalize. I'm up 11. Look at that. Just try to equalize. I'm not equalize, but consolidate. When you're up like that, you just want to consolidate, get the game down closer to an end game so that you can just have your way and this is where he resigned okay well good game and until next time you guys enjoy franchise